you can go over there. Find yeah, the comfy you, one. Has yeah. Joe disappeared on us, has he? Yeah, no, he's gone. So. Oh, well. Friday, well, a, Friday it, afternoon. Yeah, well, looks funny, uh, this, this, isn't a, um, this is a very informal thing. <laughs> you having fun there, Brad? Testing, testing. So it's, it's potentially just, a podcast if it goes to air, is that right? You, I don't know. <laughs> now, this isn't by any means a proper podcast setup, literally just a GoPro, so sit, bear with us. But, sitting on a ladder. Um, yeah, I, I thought before we all left for it's Friday afternoon, we could do a bit of a harvest summary slash update um, while we're all here. And just a general Ooh. chit chat. I don't have my um, good clothes on, but guys, I've had the ute wee on me. I'm just disgusting. <laughs> Brad's the Brad's the uh, bashful one. What about the yes. dog? What about did the dog? Uh, the dog didn't wee on me. No. Just the ute. So in we um. Places. So all in all, <laughs> harvest what? Harvest finished up a week ago, did it? Yeah, it would have been it was, a week ago. It was about a week ago, so yeah, it's all... Family, yeah. Yeah. They're interrupting we, our podcast. Yeah, we've got a bit of an interruption. Of we feel very uh, self-conscious guys, so... <laughs> just, well, uh, what do you mean? There's nothing unusual about staring at no. the camera on the ladder. <laughs> no. Yeah, Basically. so what Harvest finished up Harvest about a week ago, so that was just 2nd of no... 2nd of... Uh, no, it's the 20th. What is it? It's the 25th of November now, so it was the first week of November, wasn't it, when you finished the... Well, no, the, the end of the, podcast. The, the organic, we finished the organics... Yes. Uh, We're very professional yeah. around here, we know our yeah. dates. I'll start. Come on, guys, <laughs> just say, like, we finished the week yeah. ago, okay. middle of November, that's done, thanks. Yeah, we finished. <laughs> Good harvest. It was finished at 10 o'clock, <laughs> 10 30, actually. Well, it finished without <laughs> me knowing it. Um, no, actually, it was before that, because I had my scone at 9 30. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway. Harvest summary, uh, what, it all went pretty well as far as breakdowns and all that goes, didn't it? it it's virtually, compared to the previous year, there was virtually no... Brad no bogged headers or no. tractors or anything. Brad got all the bogging out of his system before harvest. I don't think so we ever got mud on the tyre. He did no. once. <coughs> he did get bogged on um, the D11 yesterday, mate. Yeah. But we won't talk about that. There's a few things we don't talk about. <laughs> um, but... We I'd say around. that the yield on most things, probably the cereals, so the wheat, barley, the and yield was exceptional for the season, and but, chickpeas. but still probably below below no, average. That was about average. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, but it wasn't a, wasn't a wasn't a bumper crop. But for the year, commodity price, it was, it was a bumper crop. Mm. I'd say the yeah the cereal price, cereal yields were average for an av like average. Um, but well above average for this year, for a four yeah. year. Yeah. yeah. And commodities so good. Like we're, all, we're talking over $400 a tonne. So was it 4.6 on the wheat? No. Uh, 4.1 tonne and 4.6 tonne. Oh, okay. there on the barley and 1.5 tonne on the chickpeas. And, and the canola was uh, 1.3 per hectare. The uh, canola and, uh, struggle. And we won't talk about the linseed. That was terrible. Yeah. Yeah, linseed only went, what average? It was 0.5, point, point, yeah, point 0.5, point 0.4, something like that. Under the point hectare. The, oh, which the, usually linseed would do, what, 1.2? 1. 2.5? 2. 2. Yeah. The organic wheat went well. It was 0. 0.8, mm. but we didn't have any high hopes for that, so. With didn't the lower input costs, we'd probably come out just the same, if not better. As linseed. Oh, way better than inside. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm. yeah, way better. Wheat well, was, yeah, five, 580 a hectare return, whereas the linseed was 500. But we don't have the input costs and the fertiliser and chemical costs on that. So the net effect might have been similar to the canola? Uh, it was 800 a hectare, canola. But with the expenses? Yeah, yeah but he'd have a lot of expenses. So probably got $300. So it's hectare. probably similar to the... So the organic, organic wheat, it might be just yeah. as good. Yeah. <laughs> mm. So the canola was looking really, really good, but it ran out of puff, didn't it, when it come time to fill the pods? Mm. Had no, like, hadn't, didn't rain for five months. Very unusual. It was all there, but it wasn't. Mm. But Amazing that we got what we did. But if you average out the good and the bad and the ugly, but, uh, we, we didn't go 
go too bad, really. Very grateful. Mm. Mm. Like that's that's the beauty of having the different crops and rotation and stuff. One one seems to always stand out, and mm. another one sort of drops the ball. And what's yeah. the old saying? Don't put all your eggs in the one basket. Mm. Because if you're like me, your head will run faster than your legs, and then you fall over. <laughs> If you, if you there got goes bit, all your eggs. If you're, if, if you're a bit top heavy, especially. <laughs> yes, I think I can. Yes. So anyway, well, uh, we did one, one seventy, yeah, one seventy rotor owls on head of two. So still got a bit in there. Mm. Probably we've been working on about two fifty in the last years, but they've been pretty tough years. So each header, each header, yeah. two fifty each. And, yeah. And as we speak, we're going to do a summer crop probably for the first time since you boys have taken over. Because um, I tended to avoid them, if, unless I needed to. But you're going to 300 hectares of cotton to go in, which with this rain we've had, what, 40, between 40 and 50 mil? And then we had 30 before that, a week, week and a half before that. So it should be right to sow now. Mm. Yeah. So cotton will be going in, hopefully. So it was a bit... bit Bit of a if it not dries sure. up, if it's yeah. <laughs> we weren't we weren't going to risk the biscuit if we didn't have the yeah subsoil moisture. So we'll put it this way: we bought the seed, so <laughs> got to do something with it. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't grow in the bag. No, uh, that was about it, I think. Um, everything's going pretty well. So we just got um, from now now to what now until Christmas time. We're Got a bit of got cultivating, get started on rock picking. There's a bit of dozer D11 work to do. There's there'll be a spray for everything yeah, after this rain. Everything get a good, good weed flush. Everything will need a spray. Going to try and do our NH3 or our uh, anhydrous in January um, again. So fertilise in January and what plant in May? Mm, if we've got moisture. If there's moisture. So when's uh, when's cotton picking happen? Oh, then probably April, around. May, June. Depends. Yeah, depends on the season. So, and how many hectares are we farming at the moment? Now we we don't own all that we farm because there's what six two and a half two and a half thousand hectares we're farming. That's farmland, not property. We're farming two yeah. and a half thousand hectares. And there's 600 hectares of leasing, is that right? Yeah. So we're pretty small compared to a lot of fellas out there. But Good thing it's <coughs> not about the size, eh? And probably, it. Probably, do need, <laughs> do, probably do need to tell the folks that um, they think I'm a very smart man, but the boys are now in control of the business. And my role is simply advisory, and sometimes not even that. Everyone? Well, he's not very good at giving his opinion, so <laughs> yeah, if you, um, you've if really if got you, to tease it out of him. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, you know, just get the pry bar in. <laughs> he str yeah, str struggles to sort of well, yeah, say what he thinks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Tend to gild a little. Yeah, young. yeah, that's right. <laughs> Yeah, no, he, he so. does love to keep an opinion to himself. Yes. <laughs> no, I, I've got an opinion about most things, and what I haven't, I'll soon make one up. Yes, <laughs> yes, that's right. No, that's but, good. No, Dad, Dad's never stopped us in our pursuits of what we want to do and endeavours in life, so it's been, been fantastic to uh, have a father like that. So Gee, that you, got serious real you, quick. You can pretty well, uh, pretty well just give us a good kick and say go and do whatever you want and you know they're just supervising. Well, well <laughs> my greatest pleasure now is to see you guys get in and have a red hot crack and you know I don't, like my dad said to me, it's a hard game and it's no shame if you go broke. But like I said to you boys when you were small, I don't mind you breaking and messing up but you've got to have a crack, you've got to give it a go. Don't just sit back and watch. And be honest. You do. You do have to be honest. Don't you? Honest is number one, eh? It is. Yeah. 
even with your own faults, Brad. Yeah, no, Especially with your own faults. It's easy being honest with other people's faults. <laughs> <laughs> one, one thing is to laugh at your own faults, eh? and we're pretty good at that. Yeah. We, we sort of take the mickey out of each other. So and you continue to help it. me in that area. Yeah. <laughs> we see it as our role to help Dad. <laughs> yes. We're just returning the favour. <laughs> Yes. Now he's got all the ideas and uh, we're the ones got to deal with it. It's so, so much he's fun. Getting his revenge. It's so much fun, folks. I come up with all the ideas because now there's no responsibility. <laughs> and I can just hit the boys with it and watch them squirm and then say a day or two later, oh, I was only, I wasn't real serious about that. I was just, it was just a thought. You know, yes. just, gotta, just gotta keep up with your fads, don't we? <laughs> Just, I, I do have some you, fads. You, you, just, what are we just on have now? A moment. What, what are, what's the latest fad? I don't know. How many have there been? There's, there was, is, it, is it the there generator fridges? or the camper now? I don't know. But we started off with fridges. So everyone got fridges and they were the bee's knees. And, and the friends. Was, and the friends and acquaintances got one too for yeah, Christmas. And yeah. then the, there was jump start, the lithium little jump start kits for the vehicles. Yeah. That was another one. That, yeah. There was a fair few of those went around. And remember and one week quads? Beds? Yeah, there quads. One week there's I come home with four quads, didn't I? Yeah, there's quads getting old, quads getting them I think going. So. Like one we fixed up. Oh, like yeah. some, most of them were second hand, one was new, I think, wasn't it? <laughs> but it was a bit of a fetish oh, there. There was a bit of a D11 one there, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was a pretty obvious one. <laughs> Snatch straps and slings. Oh, yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. what did you tell me the other day, Phil, but not to get any more? We need, we've had enough of it. Oh, that was the slings. Yeah, no, we've got enough slings for, the, for a while, I think. Until we start breaking them, which we've done a bit of. And then batteries. Bat yeah. yeah. Me on batteries? And now we're, now we're on to grey Fergies. <laughs> yeah. Is, no, is this the only one? Yeah. <laughs> it's going to have babies. <laughs> I, yeah. No, I, um, I have no intentions of having any more than one, but having said that, that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> like going on past. <laughs> Records. That's very diplomatic, <laughs> and you actually haven't opened yourself up to a big statement there on camera. Well, so yeah, where's, in, your, in that where's, case, your, where's your broad sweeping yeah, statement? Yeah, yeah. Well, in that case, <laughs> I better make one. <laughs> <laughs> no more Fergies. <laughs> no. Well, I think we're well and no, truly well, gone past the five minutes. I'm, it was only going to be a short little update slash but, but finish off, right. sign off for Harvest, but I'm, uh, even if. You know, even if it's only for our own use, that's fine. But I'm proud of you boys and the way you can work together and, and make it work. It's not like there's a lack of opinions and different opinions, but you choose to listen to each other. And it would appear to be unusual to be able to do that. And that's the area that I'm probably most proud of you. Real proud of the crops this year. I've, they've been remarkably clean. And it's no, not a lot of credit to grow it a good crop in a good year. But when you grow a good crop in a poor year, you've had to go a lot of, get a lot of your management situations right. Mm. And you've done that. And I'm, that's, I'm really, really proud of that. It's a cleaner crop and better crop than I've, I've, I've done, I think. But things have moved on too, haven't they? They have. And retrospectively, I don't think. You always look back and go, is there something I could have done different, better, worse, whatever? But I think on the, the sowing side, we're really happy with the window, aren't we? Overall, mm. like we, if we, had our, if we had our hindsight, we wouldn't have changed much no. with the growing of the crop, which because we which is good when, when you got years like this and you can say that. Well, we just we put the crops in that were most sensitive to moisture in early, and mm. kept putting the crops in later and going deeper to the crops that were less sensitive. Mm. Then we got chickpeas yeah. went in pretty well. And it was week. a bit early for some stuff, not massively, but we just kept going. And I think I'm real great, great, thankful we did because hey, if we had waited a month, it would have been bad. Well, I remember you saying there earlier that he, he just wondered whether some had put up the white flag a bit too early. Yeah, yeah, I did wonder that. Mm. But you know, like, oh, in hindsight, you go, oh, well, probably shouldn't put as much canola in this year, but that's the beauty with the rotation. You but it was the right rotation for that. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm, I'm saying if, if, like, we've had a heavy cereal program the last three years with the wet weather, wet conditions, mm. and so this year was a heavy break crop rotation. It was probably mm. nearly over 50% with canola, linseed, mm. and chickpeas. So, but 
of what, what gives us the better yields in the cereals, like this year, is our rotation and having those rotations. So and, we had canola last year where the wheat was, and, and that's done really well this year. So, you know, it's all about um, yeah, balancing it all. Well, if you try and pick and choose and predict what the year's going to do and plant crops based on that, well, like, there's no structure to it, and it's just pot luck, isn't it? Yeah. But if um, if you stick to your rotation where you can, you you're well, more than likely going to end up. Well, where, where you guys put the linseed, you've had magnificent weed control, mm. and and that's going to be an advantage for the next crop, whatever that is. You know, that's mm. yeah. We've got a good springboard here. Mm. Yeah. So right. you do have to look big picture, but and and this next year will probably be um, more he heavy on the cereals because we've had some good break crops this year. So. Yeah, when wheat's 200 bucks a ton. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, good old pessimist, eh? Yeah. Well, farmers. Yeah. That's the thing, though, isn't it? Like, we, we all believe there's a, a meaning to our lives and that it's not just about here and now. And so there's a sense of security knowing that God just wants us to have a crack and give it our best shot. But that's, you know, there's so many stories, wasn't there, about him, the people that were given a, a gift and they put it, tucked it away and hid it, and others that went out and used it and tried to, mm. used it to help others and have a benefit. And we see a role now as not just being a financial pot of gold or whatever, but we're here for more than just now. And if we can help people along the way, um, and it shows where our heart and our future is. Because there's too much on this earth that's miserable right now to find satisfaction for just today or whatever our lifetime is. There's got to be meaning beyond that. Yeah. That's really too, it wasn't the number or the amount that was given to those people, it was what they did with it. Mm. So it doesn't matter whether you, you don't have, have much to work with or you've got lots, it's your attitude towards that, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, what, are you going to use it in a good way? as an ambassador. And that, like that see, I tried, <clears throat> when you guys were smaller, I, I, I turned around, I was very profit motivated, and then I saw that that didn't really end up in a direction. You know, a lot of religious people used religion for their own self-serving, like self, self, and, and, and it, it, it came to me that that's not what Jesus did. Like, he was there for the benefit of others. And I tried to do that. And you guys now, you, you've taken over. The business has now changed name. But everywhere we go in town, you've got the same context as what I had. And you haven't shunned anyone or chopped them off. You've still got that little, same relationship. And that's a huge thing for me to be proud of, that you've continued on in the same manner that I, and, and improving on it, the way you deal and look after people. And um, when, if your time comes to do the same thing, you know that'll be that's the thing that gives you pleasure. Mm. Mm. Well, on that philosophical note, it's like yes, it's a very just spare of the moment thing. So um, if you guys are interested in, you know, listening to a bit more rubbish um, like this, <laughs> you, would, would you let the, would you give this a trial and let it go through unedited? I don't know. It all depends. Like, I think it, it's a bit harder when it's on YouTube as a video, um, but if it's on a podcast, you probably do. You just let it go. Um, yeah, I just, I don't know. If it's something you guys are interested in, just, yeah, say so in the comments and like, and, um, or yeah, maybe we'll just see. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah. Hey? yeah, or dislike it. <laughs> um, and... and and besides, guys, Matt needs a bit more pocket money, so please help him out. Yeah, I need more pocket money so I can buy a podcasting equipment. <laughs> anyway, right out of loop. Thanks, guys. Over Thank and you. out.